In today's journey, we take a look at the different containment vessels for packaging beer. They are all great, but there is no perfect solution, so it comes down to personal preference yet again. We will, however, be skipping growlers and other to-go vessels as they vary so greatly that they deserve their own video. We would like to point out here, however, that growlers are a great way to get your beer home easy. It is, however, not the best way to enjoy your favorite beer from your favorite brewery. And it's nobody's fault, it's just how they're filled. And without further ado, let's get on to the meat of the act. Unfortunately, Phil can't juggle. We do, however, know that the venerable Amber Crown Cap bottle is going to be the most common beer bottle you come across. And this isn't by accident, as it is one of the cheapest and highest quality bottles that anyone can get their hands on, from home brewers to the professionals. The darker color protects the hops from its photosensitive reaction of skunking the beer, and its economical closures make home brewers able to reuse the bottles, with minimal equipment required. Its color is not bulletproof though, so we are using sacrificial beer for this part, as it will most likely be skunked by the end. Much like this beer here, which was probably skunked before I even bought it. That's more of a statement of how it was stored at the store versus the bottle itself. The green is mostly a gimmick and provides less protection than amber. Although traditionally, these bottles hold beer that has less hops and therefore needs less protection. If you notice, it's something that smaller breweries don't tend to do and it's not due to a lack of access to the bottles. It is still a hell of a lot better than clear, which we only recommend for ciders or sample bottles. But other than their varying colors providing different levels of light protection, the crown cap bottle is easy to call the standard bottle in the beer industry. With there being about two different types of bottle caps that are actually used. You will hear the phrase oxygen barrier or oxygen absorbing crown cap. With the latter being mostly a gimmick. People who are bottle conditioning their beer actually need a little bit of oxygen in there for the yeast to create the carbonation and a commercial filler should be filling with CO2 before putting the beer in the bottle anyways. If you are unsure of what kind you have or they are unlabeled, they are most likely oxygen barrier. The only real problem with this style of bottle is that they're not great for aging beers for a long time, such as over three years for certain Belgian styles allowing oxygen to eventually break through the barrier, not ruining the carbonation necessarily, but damaging the flavor. And here we can take a look at just how much light comes through the different color bottles. Unfortunately, our studio lights, even with UV filters on, produce a lot of UV light, so a lot of our beers are already ruined. You know what container wouldn't have this problem? A can. And this part is technically sponsored content, as Witch's Hat Brewing Company provided us with a can. And we already know what the smarty pants in the audience is going to say, that it's going to make the beer taste like aluminum. Which is total bull, because as you can't see in this picture here, once Phil gets things settled, is that there's actually a invisible barrier that blocks the beer from actually touching the aluminum at any point. What you're actually tasting is the influence of the smell from the top of the can. Or from the small amount of contact that can come from when the liquid touches the outside of the can. To mitigate this, simply pour the beer into a glass. And if you don't want to believe me, then allow me to read a quote from Phil. If you're so smart, then how come the outside tastes different than the inside? According to Phil, he won the argument. And here is just a small sample of the breweries that agree with Phil that he found at the local liquor store. And there were a lot of them. These are just the ones that Phil's going to use to make waffles later. Cans not only take up less space, but they also prevent 100% of the light from getting to your beer at all, keeping it extremely protected. But nothing is ever perfect, and these actually share a flaw that the crown caps share as well. And that's that the barrier does not last forever, making these less than ideal for aging barley wines. But a unique problem for the home brewer is that without the complicated equipment that the pros use, there is no way to fill a can at home. But speaking of the pros, here you can see how in the liquor store environment, having your supply being in cans is a huge benefit to you. For some reason, Phil refuses to do that experiment the other way around. The on-scene benefit here is that the more popular cans become, and the more they're stocked in the stores, the more variety they'll be able to provide in a smaller environment. 
So even if Cairns may not be your first choice, sometimes think of it as just being a team player. And with the mundane out of the way, let's move on to the more exotic, the Grosch style or swing tops. Although that bottle has a five-year-old cider, this is a sample, this is a seven-year-old cider, and here is a rogue using a ceramic bottle, which gives the added benefit of 100% light blockage, whereas the other ones still find their way of having the weakness of the other glass bottles. The green is still just about as protective as the other greens, although the cobalt and ambers are a little bit darker, so they provide a little extra protection from the light. But where these guys really pull ahead is their gasket that they all use. And as far as I know, they all use the exact same size. Here you can see what I would still call a fresh gasket. It's only about a year old. This one is about seven years old. Still holding pressure on one of my best ciders I've ever made. Just be mindful of vanity bottles as they may not hold up to the same quality as the more standardized in the industry. We will have to do more testing before we know for sure. And yes, we missed corked style beer bottles, but that goes into a different video as that's a bit more complicated, along with wax dipped bottles. And as a thank you for sticking it to the end of this boring video, here is a small fire. You know, cause we can.